Hi Greedy 3Ds, today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is the Army Painter Wet Palette and uh, I've just recently purchased this. Now I've been using this particular product for over a year now and I went to reorder some of the spare hydro sheets and I made a bit of a boo-boo and I ordered the whole thing again. So I thought well this is probably a great time to review it. Um, so we're going to have a look what you get in the box. We'll have a little look at what I think of this. Now I'm going to give you a complete honest review um, an honest review what do I mean well army painter are not sponsoring me they didn't ship this to me I bought this uh, for just under 19 quid from Amazon um, so it's an honest review now the fact that I've been using one for 12 months gives it away what I, what I think about it and the fact that I've just reordered some hydro sheets for it but let's have a little look through it let's see what you get in the box and let's uh, see what we think of this the army painter wet palette Okay, so here's the box. Let's open it up and see just what we get for our money. Okay, a few little leaflets in here. There's one that tells you the obligatory range of the, the Army Painter and what you can get for your money if you want to spend it on the Army Painter range. We've got um, a little bit of instructions about what to do and how to use it and what to do if there's anything missing. We've also got um, some more hobby products here. So uh, a few little leaflets and pamphlets in there and a how to use your wet palette, which is always helpful to know. We've got this, which is the wet palette box. It comes in three separate parts. And I'm going to put the dimensions up on the screen so you know exactly what size it is. And there we go. Now, you'll notice that um, there's the red section in the middle has got some grooves in. And this allows you to uh, hold your brushes in. And uh, you can put your brushes in there between actual painting uh, your models and storage you've got the tray itself which is used for the wet palette you've got the lid you've got a little elastic band that keeps it all together and you've also got these gubbins here so it comes with two of these hydro pads that are actually absorb the water and 50 of these hydro sheets which is where you're going to do all your day-to-day -day work on them now the good thing with these hydro sheets and also this uh, plastic here is it's actually treated so it won't gather mold now any of you that have used one of the wet palettes in the past that maybe you've made your own and you can make your own there's plenty of videos on uh, on the mighty youtube about how you do that um, you can have problems with mold so with all this stuff here and the fact that it's going to be in a dark place it's going to be damp and warm uh, the fact that it's treated against mold is an absolute bonus so that's what's included in the pack um, um, now let's just show you how it all goes together so you would take one of your your hydro uh, sheets here one of your foam sheets here we go it's just like a little bit of it feels almost like um, packaging foam but it's it's not it's quite durable and um, the one that I've used for the last 12 months it still lasted really really well and the, the reason for replacing it was not to replace these now it's got a bit of a smell to it not a nasty smell at all I suspect that's due to the uh, anti-mold protection you would lay it in your uh, in your box as such you then take the hydro sheets here And as you can see, once we've unwrapped it, these hydro sheets are automatically designed to fit straight on top of your foam. And there we go. So we know it all fits correctly. Now I'm going to show you what we do and how we utilize it with the water side of things. Um, and we'll also look at, do you really need a wet palette and what are you going to use it for? So why, why do you need a wet palette? I mean, can you get buy without using one well of course you can get by without using one all you really need to paint anything is the paint that you're going to use and a brush you don't need anything else but other subsidiaries like the wet palette make life easier for you and it certainly makes the painting process easier it certainly makes the mixing of paints 
easier as well. Now, one of the things you can do with this wet palette is you can keep your paints ready for longer. So let's just say you're doing a paint over a couple of days. You'll put your paints into the palette and at the end of the working day, when you finish painting or you've just had enough, you'll close it all up, you'll put it to one side and the next day when you come back to it or within the next couple of days when you come back to it, you'll open the lid and voila, your paints are still ready to use. They haven't dried out and it means that you can continue using that same colour that you've mixed up or it just means that you'll save some paints in the long run. So I guess you could argue that this thing will pay for itself in a while because you can use paints for longer. Um, you can store your brushes in it if you really wanted to keep everything under one roof. Um, you can store up to uh, six army painter brushes in here and up to ten other brushes in this little section here. Now some of your brushes they might not fit but the army painter ones definitely do and the size of this just if you're wondering is 20 centimeters times 14 centimeters and the depth of the whole thing is about three and a half centimeters. Now it does come with 50 of these um, hydro sheets and at the end of your your paint session when you've actually finished you'll take this hydro sheet out you'll throw it in the bin and you'll uh, you'll replace it for your next uh, your next session now if you want to replace these separately and that's what actually I meant to do um, these are about eight quid for 50 which I don't think is horrendous um, these 50 have lasted me probably a year I use about one a week if I'm honest yeah, with my painting hobby so they've you know for eight pound moving forward for your cost expenditure um eight pound a year for some of these doesn't seem too bad at all now one of the other things you can do really well with a wet palette and, and we'll talk about this when i show you and i demonstrate it is you can mix some paints together easily so you can take for argument's sake a flesh tone you can take a red tone you can keep those two colors on their own and you can mix them both into the middle and then when you're washing into your flesh tones you can use that to, to change and alter the flesh tones as you go through and of course when you close it down and you come back to it the next day those colors are still live and you can still use them that way so it's really 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 useful for stuff like that but i think let's just have a look at it in action that's probably the best thing to do and i'll show you what i mean about mixing paints together so what i'm going to do is take one of these foam sheets and just lay it into the bottom of the largest of the two black trays i'm going to take some water now you can just run this under the tap if you like but just for demonstration purposes i'm just using this water dispenser that i've got here really great bit of kit by the way you can clean your airbrushes out with this thing absolutely marvelously and once you're happy that your pad is fully soaked and it's wet through and I'm happy that that is the case. You take one of your hydro sheets, one of your 50 that comes with it, and you lay it in. I did it a bit caggy this bit, and my apologies, I didn't put it in the center. It does fit bang central if you're not as clumsy as me. And you just rub it down to get all the air bubbles out. And that is it, it is as simple as that. And now it's ready to use. So what I'm gonna do just for demonstration purposes is get a little bit of barbarian flesh from the army painter, a little bit of red, and then just a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna pop them in there and you'll get to see that uh, they sit in there quite nicely, they don't pull. And if you get your brush, my brush was just a little bit wet as well, and that was just so I could do a little bit of blending. And there you go, you can blend some colors together really easy on the palette. I should have cleaned my brush here, I didn't. Um, again, it's just for demonstration purposes really, but you can see that you can quite easily between colors, mix some blends and get a really good blend of um, all the way down from skin tone right through to white if you want to do that. You can also use these paints neat um the uh the, uh, the there's no problem at all just using them neat you know you don't need to mix them together and the good thing about being on a wet palette is they kind of stay more usable for longer and you can um get a bit more coverage out of them to be absolutely honest they just waters them down a little bit and they flow onto the model really really lovely now obviously um the whole point of having this uh, device is to save you from wasting your paints so once you've done all your mixing and once you're happy that you've finished for the day what I'm going to do now is close it all up seal it together and I'm going to leave it for 24 hours and I'm going to come back to it tomorrow and we'll have a look just what's happened to the paints in that time frame pop your elastic band round and it's ready to put away so it's about 27 hours later and 
I've just literally left it there all night, opened it up, and there we go. The paints are exactly as you've left them. We've had no drying out. You can continue to use them from exactly where you left off. Everything is right where you left it. Now, you imagine leaving those paints on a normal palette. They would have dried out. They would be unusable. So that is the benefit to a wet palette without any shadow of a doubt. And when you're finished, put it away again, and it's ready for the next day. There you go, you've seen it in operation, you've seen it working, you've seen why you would need a wet palette. So is this wet palette any good? Well, okay, it's just under 20 quid, shall we say. You get 50 sheets with it, you get two of the foam pads, you get a really well-made case that you can use, you get a little holder that you can put your brushes in, and um, it's uh, it's pretty much perfect for the job. Now, you can make your own. I'm sure it's a darn sight cheaper to make your own, and the internet is full of people making their own wet palettes. The problem you're going to get is mould. Um, if you do anything like I do, when you've got your brush and you just want to get it back in a point, you put it in your mouth and you give it a bit of a suck. At least with this, I know that there's no mould going to be on my on my brush. Uh, I know it's nice and tidy and neat. I know I can put it away tidily. Um, you can make your own, as I say, and that's your choice. So would I recommend you buy one? I would. I would say spend your wonga on this. But look around the internet, see what else is available, see how much and how easy or how hard it is to make your own. But if you just want to press the button on Amazon, buy one for under 20 quid, have it arrive with 50 sheets, two pads in a beautiful little box. This is the one for you. Now stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.